Blood is a vital fluid that flows through our veins and arteries, ensuring the proper functioning of the body. It plays a crucial role in delivering oxygen and nutrients, removing waste and defending us against infections. But have you ever wondered what makes up our blood? Let's take a closer look at the different types of blood cells that make this essential task possible. Red blood cells or erythrocytes are the most abundant cells in our blood. Their primary function is to carry oxygen from the lungs to every part of the body and return carbon dioxide to the lungs for exhalation. Red blood cells are biconcave discs, which increases their surface area for efficient oxygen exchange. They lack a nucleus, allowing more room for hemoglobin, the protein responsible for oxygen transport. They live for about 120 days before being recycled by the spleen. White blood cells, or leukocytes, are the warriors of our immune system. They protect the body against infections and foreign invaders. There are several types of white blood cells, each with a unique role. Neutrophils are the first responders to bacterial infections, making up 60 to 70% of the total white blood cells. They engulf and destroy harmful bacteria through a process called phagocytosis. Lymphocytes are critical for immune responses. There are two main types, T cells, which attack infected or cancerous cells directly, and B cells, which produce antibodies that target and neutralize pathogens like bacteria and viruses. Monocytes circulate in the bloodstream and transform into macrophages when they enter tissues. Macrophages clean up dead cells and fight chronic infections. Eosinophils are involved in fighting parasitic infections and play a role in allergic reactions. Basophils release histamine during allergic reactions and asthma attacks, helping to dilate blood vessels and increase blood flow to affected areas. Platelets are small, disc-shaped cell fragments that play a vital role in blood clotting. When there's an injury to a blood vessel, platelets rush to the site, clump together and form a clot to prevent excessive bleeding. They don't have a nucleus and are much smaller than red or white blood cells. Platelets survive for about 7 to 10 days before being replaced. So, there you have it. The different types of blood cells in the human body each with a specific and crucial role. Red blood cells transport oxygen, white blood cells defend us against infections, and platelets ensure that we don't bleed excessively when injured. Together, these cells form the foundation of a healthy, functioning circulatory system. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful videos on the wonders of the human body.